Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's chemistry lesson is about carbon, hydrogen, sulfur, and their compound. Before I proceed further, please subscribe to Jom Study La channel, yeah? Because in this channel, we provide many free lectures. And without further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises of the carbon cycle, which is described about sources of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, the balance of the carbon cycle, limestone, lime, slate lime, uses of limestone and limestone products, ammonia synthesis, NPK fertilizer, sulfur sources and uses, sulfur dioxide, the manufacture of sulfuric acid, and finally, properties and uses of sulfuric acid. Let's look into the carbon cycle. Sources of carbon dioxide in atmosphere is from combustion of fossil fuel, example, coal and methane, CH4 plus 2O2 to form CO2 plus 2H2O. And on top of that, sources of carbon dioxide in atmosphere, example, is from respiration. Respiration is actually the production of energy in living things. The overall reaction of respiration is represented by equation C6H12O6 plus 6O2 to form 6CO2 plus 6H2O. And thirdly, we can see from the decomposition of vegetation by bacteria and fungi, thermal decomposition of limestone, and a reaction of acid with carbonate. By definition, respiration is the production of energy in living things by a series of reactions involving conversion of glucose and oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. And let's look into the removal of carbon dioxide from atmosphere. The example given here is the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process of producing glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water in plant in the presence of chlorophyll and lights. The chemical equation is C6O2 plus 6H2O to form C6H12O6 plus 6O2. And another example of removal of carbon dioxide from atmosphere is whenever carbon dioxide dissolves in the water, in sea and oceans, and is removed by shellfish for making their custom carbonate shells. Next, Let's look into the, the balance of the carbon cycle. Carbon as carbonate. Carbon dioxide or organic carbon compounds is present in the sea, the air and under earth. There is a continuous cycle of this compound between these sources called carbon cycle. There is a fairly constant amount of carbon compound in the sea, although scientists are worried that an increased amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing global warming. Carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere by the process of respiration, combustion, and carbon dioxide, which coming out of solution from seawater. Carbon dioxide is removed from atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis and dissolving in seawater. As long as these are valid, the amount of carbon dioxide in atmosphere is remain constant. But however, scientists are worried that when there is increasing the amount of fossil fuel burn will increase global warming and unbalance the carbon 
cycle. Let's look into the differences between limestone, lime and slate lime. Limestone is mainly calcium carbonate. Lime, calcium oxide is manufactured from calcium carbonate by thermal decomposition. When we have calcium carbonate to form calcium oxide plus CO2 in a form of gas. Slate lime, calcium hydroxide is made by adding a small amount of water slowly to calcium oxide. So from the chemical equation, calcium oxide, COO, CAO, plus H2O in the form of gas to form calcium hydroxide, which is slate lime, CaOH2. And whereas lime water is a solution of calcium hydroxide on water. And actually lime water is alkaline. Uses of limestone and limestone product. Limestone or calcium carbonate is used in the manufacture of iron and cement. It is also used in treating excess acidity in soil and lay where it is often preferred to lime because it does not need the water or soil alkaline. Whereas lime or calcium oxide is used in lime water and in fuel gas desulfuration. Lime also used in treating excess acidity in soil and lakes. If excess lime is used, however, the soil and water may become too alkaline. Let's look into the slate lime or calcium hydroxide. This product is used in treating acidity soil and neutralizing acidic industrial waste product. Ammonia synthesis. Let's look into the step how the process of ammonia synthesis. First, Ammonia is synthesized by the Haber process. What is actually the Haber process? Haber process is the industrial process for making ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen by using a catalyst of iron and specific condition of temperature and pressure. Second, the raw material for the synthesis ammonia are air which contain nitrogen and methane which reacted with steam to form hydrogen. Hydrogen can be obtained from cracking of hydrocarbons. Next, a catalyst of finely divided iron is used. The iron is finely divided to provide large surface area to allow greater number of reactant molecules to combine with catalyst surface. Then, the reaction is exothermic, so increasing the temperature shift, the position of equilibrium to the left in the direction of the reactant. So, the higher the temperature, the lower is the yield of ammonia. Then, an increase in pressure shift the position of equilibrium to the right in the direction of a smaller number of gases molecule. So, the higher the pressure, the greater is the yield of ammonia. And finally, we have the optimum condition for the reactions are 450 Celsius and 200 atmosphere pressure. The optimum temperature is a compromise between a higher rate of reaction at a higher temperature at a lower equilibrium yield at the higher temperature. Next, we look into the NPK fertilizers. 
what is actually NPK fertilizers used for and what are the things, properties in the NPK fertilizers. NPK fertilizers containing the element such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in various compound. These are all important elements that need for plants to grow. Of this element, nitrogen is the most important because why? It is incorporated into protein which are needed for growth. The crop plants absorb nitrogen from the soil. After a few years of crop harvesting, the soil becomes depleted in nitrogen. So fertilizers are needed and aided to put nitrogen back into the soil. Most of the fertilizers contain ammonia salt and phosphates. Example, ammonium phosphate, ammonium sulfate, potassium ammonium phosphate. So many crops do not grow well in acidic condition. So farmers sometimes add lime or slick lime to the soil to neutralize the acidity. So if lime or slick lime is added to the soil too soon, after a fertilizer has been added, nitrogen loss from the fertilizer may occur. This is because the displacement of ammonia from ammonia salt in the fertilizer. Next, we use we look into the use of sulfur and the source of sulfur. Sulfur found as an element underground in USA, Mexico, and Poland. So it is also byproduct from the removal of sulfur from petroleum and natural gas. Sulfur can be obtained from sulfate ores. What is the use of sulfur? The use of sulfur include making of sulfuric acid and making rubber tires more flexible. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide can be made by direct combination of sulfur with oxygen. First stage of manufacturer sulfuric acid like S plus L plus oxygen to form SO2. Uses of sulfur dioxide include as bleach in manufacture of wood pulp for paper as a preservative for food and drinks by killing bacteria and sulfate also are often added to food and this to release sulfur dioxide in acidic conditions. The manufacture of sulfuric acid. There are several steps over here. So let's look into one by one. The first step is about sulfuric acid is synthesized by contact process. The raw materials are sulfur and air, which contains oxygen. And by definition, contact process is the industry process of making sulfuric acid using vanadium V, oxide catalyst, and high temperature. And for the first stage, involve oxidation sulfur, which is by the chemical reaction S mixed with O2 which is oxygen to form sulfuric oxide, sulfur oxide as O2. And secondly, which is the main stage in is oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. And where V2O3 is used as a catalyst. And the reaction is exothermic. So we already studied about the exothermic process. Increasing the temperature will shift the position of equilibrium to the left in the direction of reactor. So the higher the temperature will be lower yield of sulfur trioxide. An increase in pressure shift the position of equilibrium to the right in the direction of smaller number of gases molecules. But the position of equilibrium is far to the right whereby the mixture contain about 96% of sulfur trioxide. So the condition for reaction required a 
about 450 Celsius, which is above atmospheric pressure. The sulfur trioxide is absorbed into the solution of 98% sulfuric acid, which is to produce thick liquid called oleum. And it is not absorbed into water because a fine mist of sulfuric acid would be produced and this would be difficult to condense. So the purpose of oleum is is added to water because to form concentrated sulfuric acid. And let's look into the properties and uses of sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is a strong acid and is dibasic acid which two of its hydrogen atom can be replaced by a metal. It reacts in a similar way to other acid with metal carbonates, oxide, hydroxide, ammonia and metal. Let's look into the use of sulfuric acid. Uses of sulfuric acid include as follows. For example, carbatrice acid, acid drain clean, cleaner, making phosphate fertilizer, making soap and detergent, making paint and dyes, and we use sulfuric acid to dilute sulfuric acid as a catalyst in many organic reactions for cleaning metal. With that being said, hope you all understand the topic presented earlier. So I wish you all the best in your study. Last but not least, please don't forget to subscribe to Jom Study Lab YouTube channel. And follow me at Jom Study Lab Instagram. You can get customized notes by accessing to Beacon page via Insta Instagram link. Thank you very much.